Tonight, New Orleans is remembering the first first gentleman in its history. The husband of Mayor Latoya Cantrell, Jason Cantrell, died this morning. WGN's Rick Gobri reports on the line of elected leaders sharing their thoughts. Rick. Kurt, council members, elected officials, and local groups across the city of New Orleans all shared their thoughts and prayers today in response to the death of Jason Cantrell. Cantrell was a well-known member in the New Orleans community by many officials. Today, I spoke with some of them who knew Cantrell both professionally and personally. Jason Cantrell, known for his role as first gentleman of New Orleans by many, was a long-term contributor to the city of New Orleans. He spent much of his life as an attorney with a private law practice, working in criminal defense, civil and family law, and was also a former public defender. He also worked at the city attorney's office prior to Mayor Latoya Cantrell's first term. People know him as being the first dude or the first gentleman, uh, but he had his own professional life. He had his own life of public service, as a matter of fact. That, that's how we met. Outside of his professional career, he was also known as being a great man and a friend. You never, you never left him without either a good belly laugh or at least a big smile. He thought that was his job uh, to bring that into every room. Along with the mayor, Jason Cantrell leaves behind his daughter, Rayanne. The most important thing to think about is the fact that Rayanne, his daughter, Attorney Cantrell's daughter and Mayor Cantrell's daughter doesn't have a father today and that Mayor Cantrell has lost someone who was a longtime partner and husband. It is, it is really sad to lose a friend. Um, I actually met uh, the mayor uh, through him. Um, I was at uh, their wedding. Um, you know, so it's just a very sad day. Mayor Cantrell ordered all City of New Orleans flags to be flown at half-staff in honor of her late husband.